All right, so I've got the uh, stud girdle on, everything uh, torqued up, and then I have uh, checked the valve lash again. And on these Harlan Sharps, you know, you got to remember you'd have clearance on the highest part of the lift in the back and in the front. And uh, <clears throat> just like I'm going to take this lifter here just to point out. Uh, so right here with this this one, if you can, can't really see the seat there, but, or I mean the valve tip, but uh, my hand's blocking the light, okay. So what I'm doing here is like when I move this side to side to check the geometry on setting this uh, with the push rod guides, you know, I want to look in here and you can have this pretty much to the edge here and then move it the other way to that other edge so that it's like within this zone over the tip where it's going to remain pretty uh, evenly in the center of it while it's running. So if it moves, uh, when it starts to launch, if it goes a little bit over this way or this way, it's still going to be on it pretty square. And what I'm really referring to is just the guide plates <clears throat> with the push rods in here when you set these up. Um, these AFRs have little puzzle piece type pieces that lock together and uh, you know just have the rod so that it's going to be touching one side or other for the clearance and you know that's just so you can push this in and out and move it around over the stud before you torque them down um, and set up the uh, the guide guide plates in the right spot for the lifters anyway I just you know took my old tall aluminum covers off and and uh, you know, take the grommet out, and I've got to modify these. Work on a car, and I'm gonna put these on here now. Get the evap stuff set up, and get the rest of this uh, set up for the 421 to be done here. <clears throat>